A desperate search is underway in upstate New York for a missing nine-year-old girl. Authorities say Charlotte Cena went missing while camping with her family on Saturday. The young girl had gone on a bike ride with friends around dinner time and never returned to the campsite. State police issued an Amber Alert for her Sunday morning, asking people with any information to contact authorities. National correspondent Jamal Andrus has been following this story. He joins us live now from Dallas. Jamal, we know the first 48 hours are critical in missing persons cases. What have authorities learned in this case so far? Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, Christian, not a whole lot. As you alluded to, this all happened very quickly. You know, Charlotte Cena, that nine-year-old girl, was last seen at 6.15 p.m. You know, as you mentioned, riding in, uh, around with her friends on her bike around this campsite and essentially uh, decided to do one last lap by herself is, is how her parents described it. And so from that point to 15 minutes later, um, her bike was found on that camp trail around 6.45 p.m. And so you only have about a 15-minute period where she is missing, and then the search is on for uh, th this missing girl. And it's an exhaustive search. You know, we heard from New York Governor Kathy Hochul yesterday who talked about the lengths they are going to to find this girl about, you know, no, uh, no campsite, no branch, no, no cabin untouched and, un and, and, and not looked into. They have drones, bloodhounds, air and underwater rescue teams, more than 100 volunteers sweeping that uh, about 6,000 acres worth of land to try to find this girl at Moreau Lake State Park. And, and as you mentioned, you know, time is of the essence in a situation like this. I spoke with Todd Snyder, who's the director of the Missing Persons Unit for Texas Search and Rescue. And here's a bit of what he had to say about why that period of time is so important. The, the thing that I would put at the forefront is uh, the probability of survival. What are, what are we, you know, the weather, oh, man, so many things have to do with that. We're, how were they clothed? The weather conditions, is it, you know, in the middle of January when it's 30 below? And uh, so uh, the, one of the biggest factors are is, is in your response is the, the survivability. Now, Charlotte was last seen wearing an orange tie-dye Pokemon T-shirt, uh, dark blue plant pants, black Crocs, and a gray bike helmet. Again, uh, riding that bike around this very large campsite. Uh, police have uh, uh, have the idea that this is an abduction because her bike was found and expanded that search past just that state park. But important to mention, anybody with any information is encouraged to contact law enforcement. Charlotte's family emphasized that no tip is too small in this instance. So if you know anything at all, please submit it to police. The park is closed until further notice or until this case uh, has hopefully a happy ending. Um, Charlotte is four foot, six inches tall, about 90 pounds, and has blonde hair and green eyes. Christian. National correspondent Jamal Andrus, many thanks.